Dear friends, today I am going to demonstrate Graham's law of diffusion. Graham's law of diffusion was formulated by Scottish chemist Thomas Graham in the year 1848. Graham found experimentally that the rate of diffusion of a gas is inversely proportional to the square root of its density at the given temperature and pressure. So for two different gases, we can write R1 inversely proportional to square root of D1 and R2 inversely proportional to square root of D2. So from these two equations, we can write one more equation. R1 upon R2 is equal to square root of D2 upon D1. Now since density depends on the molecular mass, we can write M2 upon M1. And this is what we call Graham's law of diffusion. Now I am going to demonstrate this law with the help of an experiment. So for doing the experiment, I need two chemicals. So I need ammonia, ammonia is here, and concentrated HCl. Okay. Now I perform the experiment. Place a drop of ammonia on a plastic cap. So this is ammonia, you can see the droplet here, ammonia droplet and carefully place a drop of HCl near to it. So I am placing a drop of HCl, that is HCl. So here we can see formation of thick white fumes and these white fumes are formed at HCl. This is because ammonia molecules are lighter than HCl, hence according to Graham's law of diffusion, they migrate at a greater speed. Since HCl molecules are heavier than ammonia, the rate of diffusion of HCl is less than that of ammonia. So when ammonia vapors and HCl vapors combine, we get ammonium chloride. The reaction is NH3 plus HCl is equal to NH4Cl. So look, look at the molecular mass. The molecular mass of ammonia is a 17 and HCl is 36.5. It means HCl molecule is almost two times heavier than ammonia molecule. Hence, ammonia molecules diffuse at faster rate than HCl. So this proves the Graham's law of diffusion. Thank you for watching the video.